All right, guys. So this is uh, going to be a little bit of a different video again. Um, right now, I'm on my way to check out a car at a new garage that I started to do some uh, mobile work for. Um, so this car, I don't know what make or model it is. All I know is that it's a hybrid, and the vehicle doesn't go into yeah uh, gas mode. Uh, so basically it's always running on the EV mode apparently from what I understand they might have got that wrong because typically what ends up happening is that the EV system shuts off and the gas mode stays on so I'll know more when I get there but I thought I'd bring you guys along uh, we're gonna be I'll be traveling there right I'm traveling there right now so um, I'll bring you guys back when I get there All right, guys. So I got to the shop. This is a 2012 uh, Denali Hybrid. Um, so basically, what ends up happening? Well, I'll show you guys. I'll start it up real quick. I'll cycle the key, and now there's nothing that's happening. So a while ago, it was actually starting up. So that was a little bit better, but right now it's not even starting. So uh, we have a car that just doesn't want to start. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna read some codes and we're gonna start from there. Because I'm I'm thinking we're having a communication issue with this one. Uh but we'll see. Um we'll go VIN. We'll go auto detect. So I think I know what's going on with this. I actually think that the battery is just completely, completely dead and it's unable to start. So um and the only reason I'm saying that is because it's at 8.3 volts right now and it's, just, and it's just dropping. So um, I'm going to take and I'm going to put a booster or charger onto this and we'll see uh, if we can't get this guy started. All right, booster pack is now on. We have 11.64 volts, which is better than what it was. And still nothing. We'll cycle the key off. And still nothing. So now we have a no start situation going on. So we'll go and we'll read. We're gonna have a bunch of low voltage codes, that's for sure. Do I have a security light on? Okay. Sorry, I was just looking at a few things. Uh, we'll go diagnosis real quick. We'll go auto scan for sure. And I'll leave the scan and then we'll come back. All right, so we have a whole whack of codes into this one. Uh, ECM, hybrid, motor control module 1, 2, transmission control module, traffic case, uh, control module, uh, BCM. So we'll just go report real quick. We'll go see what's going on and we'll go from there. All right. Cold start emissions reduction control system. Less communication with fuel pump control module. That's what I thought because I don't even see the fuel pump control module into the list. It like disappeared. Um, system low voltage. ABS uh, pump motor performance. On the hybrid side, we have control module system low voltage. Low voltage, it's for sure we have low voltage. System low voltage. Uh, battery energy, energy control module low system voltage. Uh, motor control module, drive motor, drive motor 2, system low voltage. So it's just a lot of low voltage codes. So what I'm going to do is take and erase these codes because the only one system that I am worried about right now is, I'm going to show you guys, is we don't have a fuel pump control module. Oh, I didn't want to press that. So we don't have a fuel pump control module in here. And I seen it, but then it disappeared. And as soon as it disappeared, I'm like, that's not a, a very good sign. So um, what we're gonna do is locate where this guy is. Cause if I'm not mistaken, this one just had a lot of uh, low, vo low voltage codes and a lost communication with the fuel pump module. Let's read this. Current and history. So I'm not worried about that, this part right here, cold start emission reduction control system, but the lost communications with the fuel pump control module I am, and everything else is ABS motor pump performance. They didn't call me for anything on the electronic brake control system. So uh, 
like I said, we're going to take and we're going to go erase the codes. And we're going to have to locate where this fuel pump control module is. And I just heard everything click underneath the hood. Now we'll try to see if we can get it to start. Not even close. Uh, we're going to erase all the trouble codes. And I'll bring you guys right back. All right, I think I finally got it to go back. So as you can tell, it takes and it uh, starts and then it dies. So I'm just gonna take and plug in my, there's something underneath here I'm not liking. I gotta go look underneath here for a minute there, but anyway. Okay, so uh, let's read the trouble codes again real quick. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a fuel pump communication mod. Oh, no, it's not connected yet. Just give it a minute. I gotta wait for the VCI to connect. I had, I disconnected it. Okay, we'll recode. Try that again. So from the first thing I could tell is that the battery is shot on this car. That that's a hundred percent sure. That's not helping things at all. So we'll go to current and history and lost communication with fuel pump control module. So that is the code that we are gonna be tackling to get this car running. Um, and the only reason I'm saying that is because all the other codes that were in there have not come back. And as soon as we start the car, it starts. And then it dies. So, like I said, we're gonna start with that and we're gonna see what, what we find. All right, so after about half an hour of searching, give or take, uh, I finally found the fuel pump control module. Uh, my key is on right now. So uh, what we're gonna do is ch just check power and grounds. And right off the bat, these two big wires right here, this one and this one are supposed to be my power and ground. And I got nothing. So uh, either I have a bad power or I have a bad ground. So let's uh, take and uh, see if we can't get the light bulb to light. Hopefully I'm not on the wrong side. Ah, maybe I'm on the wrong side. Let's go over here. Oh, that still didn't change anything. So, power and ground. And I got nothing. I'll go make sure my key's on, but uh, it doesn't look too good for that. Yeah. Yeah, my, my key is on, and I have no power and no ground. No power or no ground, I should say, down here. Uh, that is my ground, so we'll take. So the ground is good, all right? So that means I have no power coming in. Because the black is ground, so that's no power. So I'm wondering if I take and I add a 12 volt source to it real quick, will it turn on? And my answer to that is more than likely yes. But uh, let's take and uh, see what we have. Because uh, if I have no control uh, and I don't have a power and ground, oh, that doesn't look very good. Um, or I don't have a power or ground, I should say. I'm not really gonna go too much further than uh, checking my powers and grounds if I don't have a power coming in. And that power is supposed to be a battery power. So no battery power, not good. Let's take this guy out real quick. Uh, so let's see if I can't. Here's some communication up. Make sure I get this guy the right way. It was like that, so it should be that way. There we go. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna jump a, well not jump I should say, but pretty much just jump a 12 volts to it and see if everything comes alive. That's gonna be my best scenario right there. Aye, aye, huh? 
Hopefully nobody was in here playing around. It doesn't look like it, but you never know. All right, so we're gonna leave that like that real quick. Ah, let's try to see if we can't get this tape off so I can get my wire. So the wire we are looking for is this, I don't know if you guys can see it, this wire right here, this red and white wire. That's the wire that is supposed to have, let's just pull on it real quick, make sure it's not broken anywhere. Uh, but that wire should have 12 volts onto it with key, uh, key on. So um, I'm just gonna plug him back in real quick. I'm gonna go get a my power probe. Uh, we're gonna jump 12 volts to that wire. So give me one second. So all I did was uh, pierce the wire because uh, there's not really any other way to get in there. And what I'm gonna do is just add voltage to it and look for some smoke. No, I'm joking. We're not gonna look for smoke. Uh, that's supposed to be your power wire, so um, I'm just gonna add voltage to it real quick, and uh, I'm gonna get somebody to come uh, crank the car, and we'll see if it uh, if it stays started. Okay, so instead of doing that, what I'm gonna do is add this guy to here. And from there, we're gonna pull this guy out, and I'll bring you guys along with me. Uh, and we'll add power to it and hopefully everything starts because my battery is extremely low again so uh, sorry about the shakiness guys kind of hard to do this with uh well like this uh, all right so let's add power probe in bring you guys up i'm gonna add the voltage and we're gonna see if everything starts All right, let's see if this starts. Oh, the key, it turned off. I think my battery's dead. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have to get a booster on this, guys. Uh, my battery's uh, way too weak. So just give me one second. All right, so basically I was able to control the fuel pump. It actually ended up going everywhere all over the ground. I'll give you guys a view of that. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I'm able to control the fuel pump. So what that tells me is that we have a power issue. So I'm just gonna check the fuse real quick. It's this guy right here. Check one side, open, uh, good. Other side, open. So I'm gonna change a 20 amp, uh, 25 amp fuse. We're gonna see if we have the fuel pump control. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna see if uh, we can't get this guy started. But with the way it's leaking in the back, I'm pretty sure that there's no fuel volume hitting up at the engine. So I don't think we're gonna get it started, but let's just see. All right, let's go ahead and remove the fuse. Hopefully it doesn't blow as soon as we take it out. This guy's stuck in here. Really stuck, guys. And I don't have any pliers with me. Uh, give me one second. All right, got myself a pair of pliers. And that back. All right. Yeah, this guy is not going anywhere, guys. This guy's shorted internal. Yeah. So, um. So basically, what's going on here is that uh, these GM uh, trucks. They have a known issue with the fuse boxes taking on a heavy corrosion and corroding themselves out. Now, um, as you can tell in this photo, there is a lot of corrosion onto that fuse and the fuse even broke. So all the low power codes I was getting was probably due to the fuse box being shorted or just not able to transfer power from an open inside of it. We're going to be taking and replacing the fuse box. That's going to fix the, communi the no communication issue with the fuel pump module. And then from there, they're going to have to take and drop the tank to replace the fuel pump uh, itself. Because on these models, if I'm not mistaken, the outline rusts completely. So that's going to have to be done. Uh, and then that should fix this car. And if it doesn't, well, we got to start with what we see right now. And no communication, no power. That's where we're going to be going. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.